Hello friends. In this video, we will discuss about some equations of time of flight, maximum height and horizontal range. Please make sure you watch projectile motion part 1 and part 2. Then go ahead with projectile motion part 3. So what is time of flight of a projectile? Time of flight is the time taken by projectile to travel from initial point to the final point this point so the time from here to this point is the time of flight sometimes a time of flight is asked like so how much time does the ball remain in air so that's also the time of flight so let's calculate it so for that we will use kinematic equation of displacement so delta y equals v naught y t plus half a y t square we are using this equation in the vertical motion. So for displacement we will use vertical displacement and for initial velocity we will use vertical component of initial velocity and for acceleration we will use vertical acceleration. So you know delta y equals y2 minus y1. y2 is the final position and y1 is the initial position. At initial position vertical displacement or height is 0 here so y1 equals to 0. The same way at final point the height or vertical displacement of ball is again 0 because ball is at the ground. So both are 0, 0 minus 0 that is 0. So delta y is 0 here. v naught y is the vertical component of initial speed and you know v naught y equals v naught sin theta times t plus half. a y is the vertical acceleration ay equals minus g. Vertical acceleration in projectile motion is the gravity because it's acting downward and down is the negative direction so it's minus g. Let's solve it and find the value of t. We will take this term to the left side here so it will be half g t square equals v naught sin theta times t. 1 t will get cancelled. Now we will take this 2 and g to the right side. So 2 will go to the top and g will be at the bottom. V naught sin theta. So this is the formula of time of flight of the projectile or total time taken by projectile in air. Next is maximum height of the projectile. Let's understand what is maximum height. Suppose ball is at this point here. So its height would be this length. It is also called as vertical displacement. In the previous video we have learned the formula of vertical displacement but maximum height is the height when object is at the top of the path. So top point is this one. So height of the ball from the ground would be the maximum height. You know at the top vertical component of velocity goes to zero. So let's calculate maximum height. So for that we will use the kinematic equation like this one v square equals v naught square plus twice a delta x. Here we are going to use this equation for vertical motion only. So for vertical motion it would be like this. Vertical component of final velocity squared equals vertical component of initial velocity squared plus twice vertical acceleration times vertical displacement. This equation. Now v y equals to 0. v naught y equals v naught sin theta plus a y equals to minus g and delta y is the displacement. We are finding the displacement which is maximum height. So delta y equals to height maximum. Now let's solve it to find the height maximum. v naught sin theta minus 2g height maximum. We will take this term to the left side. Sorry, I just forget the square here. V naught square sin square theta. So maximum height equals V naught square sin square theta divided by 2g. You can use this equation directly to find the maximum height or you can derive the equation using this kinematic equation. 
both way you can solve the problem next is horizontal range horizontal range of projectile is the horizontal distance it has traveled from initial point to the final point you can say dx or simply x so this distance would be called as horizontal distance and it is also called as maximum horizontal distance or the range uh, in the previous video we have learned that the formula of horizontal distance which is dx equals vox times t you know vox equals v not cos theta we have learned this formula in the previous video so you know time taken from initial point to the final point is the time of flight we have found this here time of flight to v not sin theta over g now we will plug in this value of time here so v not cos theta t equals to 2 v not sin theta over g let's simplify it and solve for the dx which is the range so range equals v not square 2 sin theta times cos theta over g here this 2 sin theta times cos theta equals sin 2 theta so we are going to use this right here so it will be v not square sin 2 theta over g so here is the formula of range you can use this formula directly or you can also derive this formula using this kinematic equation both ways you can solve the problem in the following video we will discuss about finding the maximum angle of projectile and other formulas so stay tuned and study more don't forget to subscribe share and like for daily updates thank you